Hi, Kelly here from Cochrane Toyota. We're located at 8 River Heights Drive, Cochrane, Alberta. And today I've got a 2019 Volkswagen Beetle to show you in the Dune Edition. So it's a great looking car. It's tough not to say Dune Buggy. It says right on the side, you just want to say Dune Buggy all the time. But again, great little car. These new Volkswagen Beetles are actually cool looking, really, really wide. So if you take them in the back here, they are a wide car and they've really reshaped that front end to have more of that um, traditional Volkswagen look compared to the first versions of these guys coming through. So this is a clean car proof, one owner vehicle, super low kilometers, was traded in here at the dealership. Again, great little car. I've had a chance to drive this one. They are super fun to drive. Volkswagen is really starting to crank these things out. Again, clean car proof, no accidents, lots of cool features on this guy. You can see the backup sensors on there as well. Now I've tried to go through this thing to try and find any scrapes, nicks or scratches, but it is basically a brand new dune buggy. Awesome little car. And again, that little wide footprint on these things makes it super fun to drive if you've not been in one of these things. Very similar to the Audi TT in the way it feels. The headlights, you can see it's got the little starburst around the side there that's gonna give you your LED daytime running lights. And again, from the front, good looking little car. So you've got your fog lights, signal lights, the whole entire works there for you. Great looking little car. We'll jump into the back of this guy. This is a hatchback. So use the Volkswagen symbol to get in there. This piece is removable if you wanted to fold those guys down and get as much storage as you can. And again, if you take a peek at that, there's lots of space, lots of room to be able to throw whatever you need in there. You've got the fender upgraded stereo on this thing, so you have the, the big subwoofer in the back. You've got two sets of floor mats, so the rubbers and the, the um, carpets, the summers. And if you look, you do have your two child seat anchors in the back, so you can fit a triple harness um, with two different vehicles back there. So pop this thing down go into the driver's seat and again this is a smart key technology so I can put this in the back um, use that button to lock it right there that sensor and then if I put the key back in the pocket use this to unlock that door so again really nice option you'll notice this also does have blind spot monitoring in there those things will turn bright orange if someone's in your blind spot that's one of my favorite options safety options these days you take a peek at the interior of these things super nice that piano black uh, material all the way through you've got your power locks power mirrors power windows, um, nice options there. And again, this is gonna be manual seats, but check out that interior, super fun. Pop this thing back here and look at the back side, the back seat there. So super comfortable, kind of like bucket seating back there. I wouldn't want to go to Vancouver myself, but I'm about 6'2", but again, nice spot back there. We'll jump into this car, show you a couple more of the features. So really nice interior in these guys. Again, that little dune right there is awesome. I'm about 6'2", and I'm full reached out there. I pretty much have to move this seat forward if I'm going to actually drive it. There's lots of space in this guy, so really nice. And again, you'll notice how wide this thing is. You feel like you're in a much bigger car um, than you normally are. And with that sunroof up there, it's got lots and lots of space in here. Real comfortable car. And again, that piano black everywhere is a nice option to have in here. It looks really premium, everything. We'll start off with this section here. So you're going to have your controls for that center dash right there, your Bluetooth settings. So again, um, your phone, um, your music, the whole entire works. Cruise control settings and all that stuff are right there for you. Um, your headlights, the whole works. So we'll jump into this section right here. We'll start ro ro rolling through here. Your speed warning, you can set, um, if you want the thing to tell you that you're speeding, I definitely wouldn't because I'm a little bit of a fast driver. I can set up my blind spot monitors, rear cross traffic and everything. So as I'm backing up, um, rear traffic, when I back out of a parking stall, it's gonna beep at me. Um, blind spot monitors, I like to show this one here. So if I go to that guy and turn it back on, you can see that bright orange, even in the daytime. I think that's where it really sets up um, better because at nighttime you can see people's headlights. So if I go back out of this guy, start scrolling back over, speed warnings, um, language, um, my data I can throw in there, units, so kilometers, uh, my servicing history, I can set up all that from this section. Scroll back over. Um, a lot of different little things I can go into this guy as well. So awesome functionality in that. I'll jump into here and you're going to have your two stage um, space right there. And again, you can adjust this on how high you want your elbow to be. You've got an e-brake sitting right there, which is a nice spot. You've got your gear shifter so you can shift through gears right here. Um, I think it's right there. Yep, right there. And you can go up and down gears depending on what you want. Your push button starts right there. 
and then you got a nice rubber um, piece to put cell phones in there. It's not going to uh, fly around, um, that hard rubber. And if you look underneath there, you've got your USB and your auxiliary out to be able to connect to your stereo. Pop that back forward. I can turn my, my parking sensors off right there. And then again, your, your um, hazard lights. You do have dual climate control in this guy as well, so I can set it up um, so that I'd have um, temperature for both passenger and driver that are separate. You can see that temperature right there. Air conditioning as well on this guy. And then the stereo in this guy. That upgraded fender, you'll see that fender stereo in here. It is a really nice sounding stereo in here. Nice and clean. Um, you don't have to crank it to get the, the volume um, on the highway. I like that. Again, it doesn't have to be loud. It just has to be clear. So I jump into here in the media. I've got my radio settings, Bluetooth. Um, I've got satellite in this guy as well. A um, bunch of different options and super easy to sync your phone. Just go to that, find a new phone, go to my settings on my, on my cell phone, and off I go. Navigation system in this guy as well. So I can... Um, find my destinations and have it um, right on here rather than using my cell phone to try and find it. Again, nice option there for you. Backup camera in this guy. It's in the little um, Volkswagen symbol. One of the nice things about that is that it's tucked away. And if you're driving around, you don't have that camera um, covered in dirt. A lot of the other cameras sitting out exposed will be all dirty by the time you get somewhere. So it's nice to have that camera tucked away. Um, again, a good one. You can see pretty much tip to tip on the bumper. Um, again, overall, super nice little backup camera. Pop that back in there. Again, that piano black all the way through. Pop this open. You do have a, a storage space in there. And then another one underneath there as well. But overall, really nice little vehicle. I love the counter stitching in this thing. And super comfortable with these kind of... Um, I don't know, not racing seats so much, but again, a really nice, comfortable sit in this guy. If you're looking for a dune buggy, come on down to Cochrane Toyota and take a peek at this one.